Hey guys, this is Andy from Mobile Must Have. In this video, we're going to do an unboxing and kind of beginning looks at the Pepwave Mobility 82G antenna. This is kind of a monster brand new antenna focused around 5G. So let's kind of get into the unboxing and see what we find. Now this antenna has been a while in the works. We've been talking to Peplink for months about this and it was designed very specifically to work with the BR2 Pro. That is a dual 5G modem and um, basically requires 11 antennas to really get up and running. And right out of the box, this is going to be this antenna. It is the Mobility 82G. So eight cell, two Wi-Fi, GPS. That's kind of how the naming convention looks. So let me bring it closer so you can take a look. Okay, now that we have everything unboxed, let's take a quick look around kind of, of what we've got on this. So it comes with, obviously, you're, you're gonna have your big mobility 82G antenna. And then it comes with basically two cable necks, um, for lack of a better term, which we'll talk about in a second with installation. And then uh, it's gonna come with a big sticky pad, uh, 3M pad for the bottom. Uh, so just go over kind of the specs of this thing overall. So I have a tape measure. If I look at the width of this thing overall, you're at about 17, I don't know if you can see that, uh, but you're gonna be at about 17 inches across. Uh, so it's a pretty big antenna, but one of the big benefits is, is you are three inches off your roof. So your total height would be, well, depending on your install type, would be about three inches. So very sleek overall. If you put that on top of an RV roof, no one's going to see it. It's not even gonna know it's there. Um, very low profile. You just gotta have a spot for 17 inches. So that can be pretty wide. Now you're gonna have 11 cables drop from the bottom. Um, and there's two different installation types. The first is going to be with one of these necks. So the cables will drop straight off the bottom, designed to go right through your roof um, and then into a cabinet or something, which we can talk about more in a second. But that would be one installation type, just basically flush mount straight down. We have lots of videos showing exactly how that install can be done, which I'll link up above. Now, your other option is going to be a flush mount option. I'll put a picture up here on the screen to explain it, but you're basically gonna have your cables go straight out the bottom and now you can flush mount it and have the cables drop in somewhere else. This is great if you have another, another cable drop, like for a solar or something already pre-installed, you already have a hole. You don't wanna put another hole in your roof, you just kinda of need this sitting flat and you wanna drop those cables elsewhere. Uh, so it really makes your options for installation much more flexible. That particular mount can have two different options. You can just adhere it to your surface if you wanted to use like a die core um, or something just to put it right on top of your roof, depending on your roof type. Uh, or they have a magnet mount option. So if you have a metal roof or you'd wanna put like a galvanized plate up there, you can do that too and have it just basically stick right on your plate. Peplink has done a great job giving us lots of different installation types based on what type of vehicle or RV we've got. So I've been very excited to see that. Now for this particular unit, I am looking at a six foot cable length and that is the one that Mold Moss have, we at Mold Moss have, would definitely prefer. Six feet is the perfect kind of match of enough space to run cables and do what you need to, snaking between cabinets and making your cable length look good inside, but also not giving you a lot of cable loss um, overall. The longer your cables are gonna be, the more cable loss and uh, you're just gonna have. So keeping your cables as short as you can feasibly um, is always important. So the six foot variant is very, very good. Um, and one we would recommend if you kind of are on the fence about that. Uh, overall, this antenna is going to be very high performance. Um, you're going to get ex very much extended range if you compare it to a Peplink with its paddle antennas upright. Um, I have to say like here at this particular campground, I'm in a thousand trails. My phone on T-Mobile has no service, um, but T-Mobile through my Peplink and through this, I'm seeing four or five bars. Very, very consistent overall kind of with performance that we're seeing. Uh, so if you're looking for a way to extend the range and just get better signal in more places, 
putting a roof antenna like this up is definitely the way to go. Now this one specifically is an 11 one, as we've said. So this is designed for kind of a dual 5G, really future proofing your RV or whatever vehicle you're putting on in particular. Uh, there are other options. If you have a single 5G unit like a BR1 Pro um, or a Transit that really is only like needing four cellular connections, they have antennas. That's gonna be the 42G from Peplink. And it's much smaller because you don't need to have all the surface area for them. So depending on what you've got, if you've got questions, reach out. Now, if you're looking for more information about this antenna, how it's performing, what we're seeing out in the field with it, we are sending this exact antenna um, over to our friends and partners over at the Mobile Internet Resource Center, where they are going to be doing a teardown and deep testing and comparison to some of its good counterparts um, and alternatives like the Great Pyrenees from Parsec. Uh, so feel free to subscribe and join, become a member, and you will get direct access to that if you're looking for more information on this antenna and a lot of other antennas we've already had on the market. Speaking of our members, if you become a member of Mobile Must Have, you get great discounts on products, you get discounts on mobile data plans that we have exclusive through us. Uh, we have kind of member only sales sometimes and early peaks and anything we're trying to bring to the market early and test members get first grabs at all of that stuff. And you have a lot of other additional deep dive information we kind of keep for partners that really want to know more about the mobile internet space, tips and tricks, plus you get access to Merck with all the forms. There's a lot of good reasons to become a member. So you can check that out. I'll leave a link below um, and I'll put it up on the screen here too if you want to know more. If you guys have any questions about the mobility of E2G or anything else we can help here at Mole Must Have, feel free to leave a comment below. You can also reach out to us directly, talk to a human on our live chat that's on our site. So that's at mobilemusthave.com too. Or shoot us an email at info at mobilemusthave.com. We'll get to you uh, as soon as we can. All right, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>